Day 159 of the 100 pound, 365 day body transformation is here. We are out on training day. It's two and a half miles. Can I do it? I'm not so sure. Let's go. Welcome everybody to day 159. I'm so thankful you're here and I can't tell you how thankful I am to be here. If you're anything like me, the diet always starts tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow somewhere and this is the channel where we're taking you along, showing you exactly what we do to lose 100 pounds in 365 days. We're at the Bluegill Trail right now. It is beautiful. Today we decided to come out a little bit later in the day to see if we saw any other types of animals walking around and so far we've seen an alligator, we've seen otters, snakes. I mean, we've seen, it's like, wow, you know, crazy out here. It's awesome, it's wild. It's just beautiful. What a beautiful time of the day and the weather here is so gorgeous right now. It's just, oh, it's perfect. Nice little breeze, beautiful. So if you haven't yet, please, 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 please go down and like and subscribe and hit notifications. We'd totally appreciate it. Please go down there and hit it up and ring that bell. It's time for wait for the day this morning. I said, honey, do you think I lost weight? She said, oh, honey, for sure you lost weight. And I wasn't so sure because, you know, things have been going well. I've been losing weight and pretty consistently. And this morning I stepped on that scale and I lost 0.1 pounds. And I was like, yes, I was so excited that I had lost something today. So that takes me to 210.5 pounds is my current weight. And I have now lost 78 pounds, 78 pounds. 78 pounds. I'm so psyched, I can't even tell you. Can you believe it? In 159 days have lost 78 pounds. Like I can't even tell you what a big deal that is to me. So I'm so psyched about it. We only have 22 pounds left to lose. I mean, that's like holy Toledo, 22 pounds. I'm so stoked. Now, our current 30 day challenge, our new goal is four pounds that we're gonna lose. And I'm so excited about that. We're on day nine right now. We've lost 3.7 of our four pounds. And right now we've only got 0.3 pounds left to lose to hit our goal. So I'm so stoked. I can't wait to make a bigger goal. It's ah, gonna be so great. So if you haven't yet, please, please, please go down and like and subscribe and hit notifications. We'd totally appreciate it. Please go down there and hit it up. Did I outlast the fast? Well, I outlasted the fast. And I got done yesterday pretty early because I've just been eating, starting my food earlier. And so I finished at about 12.20 yesterday. Totally great. All right, you guys, I'm gonna keep walking. I'll check in with you halfway. Training time. Well, here we are training. <laughs> We're working out here. I'm gonna do two and a half miles today for this 5K training. And you guys, I'm feeling great. I am so thankful that I did what I did, the way that I did it so far in this training where I've listened to my body because my hip doesn't hurt anymore, my legs aren't hurting, my knees, I'm feeling so much better, and I'm just so psyched. So if you haven't yet, please go down and like and subscribe and hit notifications, we'd totally appreciate it. Please, 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 please go down there and hit it up. All right, you guys, I'm at the halfway point, feeling like a million bucks. I've turned around now and I'm on my way back. So the tip of the day, tip of the day are just little nuggets I've been pulling as I've been going through this and these little gold nuggets. And I just thought to myself, oh my gosh, these are things that I'm learning through experience that maybe I could help somebody and they could bypass my problem and go straight to the solution. So hopefully they'll be helpful to somebody. But one of the things that I think has been so massively helpful in the workout is making sure that you don't overtax your body at a higher weight because I never even thought about that until I got into this process. And next thing you know, like my hips are hurting, my knees are hurting. Well, of course it's got massive weight on them. How in the world do you think they could go out and do the work? It's like struggling my poor little hip. I feel bad for him right now because like the amount of work I'm asking him to do and we're out here, I'm walking like crazy. It's not used to any of that. And it's got all this weight on it and it's like doing extra time. So listen to your body, but also realize that if you're at a heavier weight right now, chillax. You like, I couldn't believe it that I can lose weight without exercise. I am so shocked by that. But here I am, I've lost weight without exercising that much. I mean, I'm out doing stuff, moving around and stuff, but I'm not like really disciplined or regimented on my exercise right now. I've been losing weight like a champ and I am telling you that that has been the biggest help in my working out for the 5K. And I'm just gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep going this way. And once I get this weight pretty much off, then I'm gonna hit the, the transformation through working out part much harder on our adventure. And so I just wanted to tell you guys that I've learned that because I honestly would have never thought in a million years that losing weight was a big part of my ability to get in shape. 
but it really is. I always thought it was like you worked out and then you lost weight. Well, now I found that you lose weight and it makes it much easier on your body to be able to do the exercise. So that's what my tip of the day is. I have no idea if that's helpful to you. I sure hope it is because I want to help you as much as I can. Please go down and like and subscribe and hit notifications. We'd totally appreciate it. Please, 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 please go down there and hit it. I'll, I'll see you at the end and we'll finish up there. We just saw the otters and we tried to get them on video, but they got back in their hole too quickly. It's a bummer. But they, one of them ran over here into this fern garden and went through, they got a little hole over here that goes down to the marsh. Isn't that cool? <laughs> they got a little super highway. <laughs> All right, you guys, we just got done. I feel like a million bucks. I cannot believe how good I feel. There were these days when we were out here before and I was just in pain and stuff, and now I'm just good to go, and I'm so happy for it. We're finishing in just about an hour, two and a half miles. Honestly, I'm so thankful that I'm able to get out here and do this, and I'm feeling this way. So if you haven't yet, please go down and like and subscribe and hit notifications. We'd totally appreciate it. Please go down there and hit it up. Check out these before and after pictures. The first one is me on day one. I'm in my goodness. I wasn't looking too good or feeling too good. And the next one is this morning and I was feeling pretty good and I was looking better, I think. And I appreciate your comments too about any of the things we're talking about. They totally encourage me. They are so helpful. I just appreciate them, you guys. Listen, we totally appreciate you being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Check out this video. And we'll see you tomorrow. It's like National Geographic. There's an alligator out here. We got to get a video of him. He's a little itty bitty one, not like the last one we saw here. Good sight. Oh, there he went. He went under. Oh, there he is. <laughs>